Hello, my little bit here at Chips. It's we Paddy from across the shock, and I'm back at you on a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in uh, Northern Ireland, down at my wee clocky caravan. And I've got you've seen by the title, this is going to be a bit of everything, and it's sort of this is a little catch up on some of the things that have happened to me. There'll be reviews following the things that need them, but they're just to show you. And I started off with good friends, gifts, and giveaways, right? I might not do it in that order. But I just, first of all, I'd like to shout out that I've been blessed with good friends throughout my whole journey. And they're maybe not friends I'll ever actually get to meet. Some I might, and some I have. But it really does lighten your heart when you get a wee gift from somebody just for nothing. And that's lovely. And I've got a few of them to show you today. But another friend that I've made is Kongi, my mate Kongi from Kongi's Knife Sales. I'll put the uh, his channel down below. It's on Facebook. And I really want to tell you, he look, every week nearly he does uh, raffles. And the, the one this week is just fantastic. There's three prizes, but there's a beautiful knife. And I'm going to kill this fella's name. It's a custom knife from Steve Vander, Vander Kolf. And I think it's K-O-L-F-F. -F. So it's Vander Kolf, Steve Vander Kolf, the most beautiful custom knife that is the first prize. And there's two other prizes. It costs a fiver to enter. Get over to Facebook, do yourself a favour, stick a fiver down, stick a tenner down if you can afford it for two chances. There's there's 65 places at a fiver. So you have a great chance of winning one of the three prizes. Just get over there and honestly, and follow him because he does these so regular. He also sells knives. You'll see a whole list of knives from, I've seen on there this morning, I was just looking, um, he has the wee banter that was for sale. I think it's sold. But there's all sorts of different knives, plus custom knives that you can't really get many other places. So get over and see Kongi at Kongi's Knife Sales. That raffle is going now. It's just started. So get over, get into it. Great chance to win a knife you might never be able to afford. Because I think the knife's worth over £200. Now, give me, give it a take. It might be much more or a wee bit under. I don't know, but it's beautiful. Right, that's Kongi done. And another one of my friends on, uh, well, he's just become a friend, full stop. We're on the phone to each other a couple of times a week. We're texting back and forward, usually taking the mickey out of each other, is Daniel Bridge. And Daniel runs his own Instagram channel. I've told you an awful lot about him. Uh, he's also on Etsy over here. It's under Blade Bridge Limited, all one word. I'll put that down below. Dan sells all sorts of knife. He does an awful lot of Swiss Army knives, but he does, I'm just going to show you, some beautiful other knives that, again, over here in the UK, they're quite hard to get. They're old American brands, and Dan buys it in bulk, and he sells at a price that is, is fantastic. I just think he's another one that does not try to get his arm in and rip you off. Really nice fella. But he is also somebody who sent me a gift that I would never have guessed, that I would never have thought of, but if I had seen it in the shop, I would have bought it immediately. I love Treen. I love little boxes that are made of not necessarily really widely expensive woods, but this is beautiful wood on this. I hope you can see that. The green little brass clip on the front of it, but a lovely little box. Really pretty. And uh, when I show you what's inside it, Dan, this is one of those thoughtful gifts that if you have to know the person you're getting it for. And as you all know, I'm an ex-sailor. And what do sailors use to see the sea? <laughs> Look at this. What a beautiful thing in a box. Look at this. That's a beautiful little treasure chest. And in here, look at this. A little mini telescope. Brass telescope. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, he gave it a bit of a clean-up. It wasn't in this great condition, uh, but I've got to get the inside. But it's just a stunning gift. What a gift. This will be on my caravan on one of the shelves forevermore. I just love it. So, Dan, one of the most thoughtful presents I've ever had that's not knife-related. So thank you so much for that. And I'll show you where I put that in my caravan whenever I find the perfect place for it. So just a great gift from a, a really nice guy. What else have I got for you? Here's a, a part of that gift. Here's another thing. He sent me over these beautiful little sack knives. And these are, this one is just a cadet, I believe. Um, this one is the Bantams. Was just, these. this is a single, 
a single back spring, but it's got multiple tools on it. And he sent me two of them. One of them has the company's name on the front of it. And one of them has the company's name on the back of it and just the Victorian Ox. That one I really, really love. So I'm going to do a giveaway for this one. Or, you know, and probably in the next day or two, this one will just be giveaway. Simple little giveaway. Um, I'll probably just keep this to UK only. It's just a cheap knife. But he sent me them just for nothing. And I, I just think that's lovely. So that's them done. Let's get them. I'm moving everything out of the way because I've so much to chitter on about here. And I don't want this to go on. This is the giveaway today. And I'm going to leave that to last. I'm not going to take a lot of time over these, but that's the last. This is the Shatton Morgan. Part two of the 10,000 sub giveaway is going to go up today. Now, what I bought off Daniel, because I do actually buy stuff and not just take. <laughs> this is a beautiful charade, shrad, charade, whatever way you pronounce it, charade. It must be charade, isn't it? So correct me if I'm wrong down below. Beautiful. And this is Scrimshaw. And look at this, the most beautiful, I'm not sure, I think it's either um, a small, <laughs> I think it's a, I don't know what that is. It's either a bird or a cat. I don't, I'm not 100% sure because my eyes are not the best, but it's beautiful in Scrimshaw. It has this little inscription placed in the back, which is clear. So I'm going to get PPP put in there uh, to have this for my channel. What a beautiful Barlow. Look at that bolster on both sides. It's beautiful. Look at the blade alignment. If people think charade just make, you know, cheap now, this is the most beautiful Barlow. Centering brilliant. You've got Shred Scrimshaw on the, on the blade there. I hope you can see it. Shred, Shred Scrimshaw. Beautiful clip point swedges on both sides, which I really like. Lovely big crescent moon uh, neck shave. Uh, Nail Nick. I'm trying to rush too much. And a beautiful pen blade. And they're all sharpened by Daniel and sent to me. I, this cost me, you don't even want to know, because compared to what I would pay for it, you know, I got it for much less. And I love it. And that's Daniel. He just does put good prices. And you know I'm collecting old American brands. I'm trying to get as many different brands as I can as part of my collection. This is another lovely wee one, which is about, I'm going to get a peanut here. I have a peanut. Here's a case peanut, and here is a K-bar um, jackknife with two blades, just a bit bigger than the, the peanut. Two beautiful blades. Oh, look at the spring in this knife. So I'm not sure what age this is, but it has the K-bar crest there at the front. And again, another lovely clip point. 1095, I would say, or a carbon steel. Absolutely beautiful. Centering's not as brilliant, but hey, this looks like to me it's an older knife. I, I'm i sure this is bone, but I could be it could be a Delrin of some sort. But if you can see the there's humps and bumps, which is not unu was not usual for Delrin. I think that might be bone. Beautiful anyway. I don't care what it is. It's just a beautiful little knife, and I love it now in my collection. And that's from Daniel. Again, his details down below. He's on uh, Instagram and he's on um, Etsy. And Facebook, he's on everywhere. Just get over and buy something of him. <laughs> I really recommend him. He's a good Etsy seller. And some of them are a bit dodgy, let me tell you. So, a goodbye. A goodbye to my Jack Wolf knives. But it's only a temporary goodbye. It's au revoir, as they say in the trade, in the acting trade. This is now going off to a couple of UK... Uh, Knife reviewers, I'm not going to, uh, I'll give you the details once I send them off to them. Uh, I'm trying to get one more, but I've got two at the minute. This is going off, one of them slick slicers. So it's going off for a view by him and a couple of others uh, and let them see what the knife is like. And if you're a sub to them, great. And maybe you'll get the first chance to see what their review of the knife is. But I still love it. I've even got scrub marks on it and I've used it for everything. So the Jack's Wolf Knives is off on a wee trip, a wee world tour of the UK. It's going to Scotland, then England, and I'm trying to find somewhere else that I can send it off to um, to get a review done. And each time I get a new one of these, I'll send it off on a wee review trail so that everybody gets a chance to see their favourite reviewer, review a knife of this quality. So that's that gone. Now, and don't forget, it's only another couple of weeks, maybe three weeks, till we get another one. So get your pennies away in the bank. 
Get them away in the bank for the next one in case it's the one that you really want. Because nobody knows what they are. That's the exciting bit. So, the bit that you all bloomin' want, the giveaway. This is the second, and it's another one I'm delighted to give away. It's one from my own collection. Um, you've seen this before. If you've, I've had this quite a while. It's just what I think a perfect knife. It comes with its little bit of paper in the box. Shatton Morgan, and it's the number 99 pattern. 99 EJ Whiskey Catalina Bone. How beautiful is that? I think this is beautiful, the jigging on this bone. And for S&M, that's not a bad shield. That's the cornerstone, cornerstone shield for Shatton Morgan. This is just a single blade centering a little bit off the left. Who cares? You don't care. And this is the Executive Jack, a beautiful, look at that, a beautiful Warncliffe with swedge, nail nick, just a lovely, lovely size, four-fingered knife. You're right up at the Ricasso, so it's not going to slip on you. But this is just gorgeous. No half-stop, but good retention and not a hard pull. You don't even need to use the nail nick. It's, but listen to that. It's just beautiful. This is a lovely knife. And I am so happy to give it away. This is the second of my two big prizes. The winners has already been sent. It was in America. It was in... Was it Minnesota? I think it was. But hopefully he'll let us know when he gets it. It went about just over a week ago. Uh, and hopefully he should be getting it very shortly. This one is open worldwide again. This is the last of the worldwide ones. The last three are just lesser prizes. Not lesser, but they're cheaper. And it's too expensive to send them to the States, to be perfectly honest. But this is the second open anywhere in the world. So we've got one in America. Come on, no matter where you are in the world, get your name in for this giveaway. Now, what do you have to do to be entered in for it? The most simple thing you ever have to do. My friend William's Knife Life is sitting on 900 odd subs. I want him to get to a thousand. So to be in for this draw, you have to go and sub on his channel, William's Knife Life. I will put it down in the description. You must go and join it. If you're a member already, if you're with him, that's fine. You can just enter. Just say, I'm I'm subbed already. But I want new subs. I want to get about 100 subs for that fella and get him over the, uh, the thousands so that he can make live videos. William's a, a, cra a great crack. He's mostly budget, but not all budget. He has just had the most beautiful case Bowie knife. Go watch that video. Uh, it was a gift to him of a case Bowie. It is stunning stunning so go over and watch a couple of videos on this channel if you like him sub to him that's all i want you to do so if you sub to him come back and on the, underneath this video and only use one comment please don't come back and do you know like your video and then come back and do that one comment per person and you must have subbed to william when you're making that comment so say i'm subbed to william or i'm already subbed to william and then in a week's time I will draw this. Sometime next weekend, I will draw it. Probably, I'll do it on the Saturday again, which just evens everything up. And you will be getting a beautiful knife for that simple little task of making somebody's channel even better for him. You're doing a real good favour to me because I love William. He's been about a while now and he makes some cracking videos. So there you go. William, all the best. I hope you get there because I want to see you live. There you go, folks. That's my little one for Saturday. All sorts of bits and pieces, all sorts of beautiful knives, beautiful gifts. And the saddest part of it all is my little knife. I'm having to let this go. I am in love with this beautiful, beautiful knife. I can't wait for the next one. So excited. It's gone off on its tour, but it's going to be to people you know and you like, and you can see what they think of them. There's no requirement for them to do any sort of a video. I want them to use this knife. And that's the difference. This is my knife. I want them to use it because I have. But I want them to see what it's like in use and then tell you. It's not just a showpiece, but it very well can be. This is a usable knife. All right. Paddy's away for a wee cup of tea. And don't forget Daniel uh, Daniel Bridge over at bladebridge.limited on Instagram and Etsy and Congi's knife sales. Gosh, I'm such a salesman.
<laughs> Goodbye. Have a wonderful Saturday. I'm on a high. How do you get such beautiful presents from such lovely people? It really is a joy to be part of this community. Thank you so much for watching. Paddy's away. Bye-bye now. Cheers.